Hi, welcome back to math. Today it's Unit 1, Lesson 10, Subtract Decimals Using Place Value. Now that sounds scary, but don't let it scare you too much. We have 42 tenths, and we're going to take away 7 tenths. How do we write that? Well, we're going to subtract, okay, we're going to subtract 7 tenths. Where would the 7 tenths go? Would the 7 go below the 4 or below the 2? It would go below the 2. Why? Because that's the way we've always done subtraction, right? So don't worry about these labels right now. If they're both the same, I'm going to show you what to do with those. So, hold up two fingers. <clears throat> Can I take seven fingers away from two? No. no, I cannot. So that means I'm going to have to borrow. So I'm going to borrow from the, what category is this? What is the place value of this? This is a 10, ten right? So that's going to turn this into 12, isn't it? So when I put the one over here that I borrowed from the four, I am now 12. Okay, 12 minus 7 is what? I hope you said 5. Right? Good job. And what do we do with the 3? Well, since there's nothing here, we pretend it's a 0. And we're taking 0. If you held up 3 fingers and we took 0 away from them, how many would we have? We'd have 3. Or you could say, just bring it down. That's fine. And what's our label? Our label's right here. Same as over here, right? So we put our label of tenths. Now it's going to ask you, it's going to say it equals something. What does it equal? And I want a decimal point out of this one. It equals what? Well, let's use our place value. What's the first place in back of the decimal, or to the right of the decimal? It's called tenths, right. And the one in front is called ones. Now this says 35 tenths, right? Since it's tenths, we put our five on the tenths. And where do we put our three? Well, we put our three on the ones. And it means that we have three ones and five tenths. Or if we wrote it down in words, we would say... 3 and 5 tenths. And that's the way we'd write it out. Remember, our and always means the decimal point. Okay, now that's a pretty easy one, isn't it? Let's take it up a notch, shall we? Mm -hmm. I'm going to scoot this up. Ooh, I have 5 and 9 thousands. <clears throat> How do I write that out? Well, I know with the five and, what does that mean? Decimal. Five decimal point, right? Now here's where my place value is very important, isn't it? What's the first space? The first space is tenths. Second space is hundredths. And the third space is Thousands. So, where do I put my nine? It says, put it on the thousands part, right? Okay. Now, what goes in between? Zeros. Zeros. And we are doing what? Math activity. We are calling it subtraction. All right. Now, what do we put under the five? What do we put under the five? Does it say anything and? No. No. So I put a zero there. I put a decimal. Why is it important? Everybody, go like this with your arm and you say, line, line up the decimals. decimals. Right, we're lining them up. Okay, now this says what? 89 hundredths. Do I put the eight in the tenths category? No. The nine in the tenths category? No. We don't put either of them in there. <coughs> Do we? No. Do we? No. Are you sure? Yes. 
Well, hold oh, on. Then that means I'm going to shove them both in here? No. Does that seem right? No, that doesn't. Remember what I just oh, told you from the last time? Let me scooch back up. Remember I said you put the... This is the tenths, right? So you put the five in the tenths category, and then you put the number in front of it on the next space over to the left, right? So let's go back. Where do I put the nine? Do I put it below this other nine? No. What place is this? Thousands. But this says what? Hundreds. So does the nine go here? No. What space is this? What space is this right here? This is called the hundreds, right? Mm -hmm. So what am I going to put in there? Eight. I'm going to put the eight in there? So I put the eight here, and I put the nine here? <clears throat> well, hold on. What would we have then? Eight. We would have eighty-nine... Ooh, what place value is this? Thousands. Eighty-nine thousandths. Is that what this says? Eighty-nine thousandths? No. No, it doesn't. What do I do? I put the nine where? <clears throat> In the hundredths section. So I put my nine in the hundredths section and my eight goes here. Now am I ready to subtract? Yes. I'll remove that box. Okay. What do we have here? What do we have here? We have a zero, yeah, because when it's empty, it's a zero, right? So if I held up nine fingers and I take zero away, what would I have left? Nine fingers, right? Now, how many fingers am I holding up? Zero. Can I take nine fingers away from zero? No. Ooh. Hold on, my neighbor next to it is a zero two, right? Wow. So what do I have to borrow from? The five. I have to borrow from the five. So the five becomes a? Four. Four. <clears throat> this becomes a ten. Ten tenths. Take that away. Take one of them away. I'm going to make it a nine. And I'm going to make this what? A ten. A ten. Hold up ten fingers. I'm going to take nine of them away. How much do I have left? One. One. <clears throat> Hold up. How many fingers? Nine. Nine fingers. Take eight of them away. One. I have one. What do I do that's super important right now? Drop the, the decimal point or bring down the decimal point. And then what do I have here? Four. Four. A four. So my answer is what? Four. <clears throat> okay, so my... It's... Four, if we were to write it out, and 119 thousandths. Thousands, because this is the thousands place, isn't it? This is the hundreds place, and this is the tenths place, right? So that would be 400 and 419 thousandths. Okay, that was kind of tricky, wasn't it? <clears throat> well, let's move on. Let me give you another problem. All right. <clears throat> let's say I have... Let me change colors so we can do something different. Okay, so let's say we have um, 37... No, let's make it 39. Hold on a second. I don't like that. Let's make it 29. Okay, so I got 29 thousandths, okay, and I'm going to subtract um, 1 hundredth. How would I write that? <coughs> Well, if we use our place value chart, what would we do? We'd put our decimal. What's the first place? 
What's this place called? Tents. Tents. Good job. And what is our next place called? Hundreds, right? And then our third place over is called the Thousands. thousands. Where does the 29 go? And by the way, the first number is the one that you always put on top, by the way. Did everybody know that? I don't think so. So let's just all say it. The first number goes on top. Okay? All right. So where do we put the 29? Do I put the 20, the 2 here? Nope. And the 9 here? No. 2 here? 9 here? Yes. Okay. And then where do I put the 1? Now what do I have to do? I have to put, ah, uh, I have to line up, everybody, line up the decimals. Okay, and where's the, what is this calling this? This is a hundredth, right? Does a hundredth go here? No. Does it go here? Yes. Okay, so I put the one there, right? What am I going to do, mathematically? Is this say add? Subtract. No, this says subtract. Okay, so here we go. What do we do when there's nothing below it? We put a zero. We put a zero. Okay. Okay. And um, we hold up nine fingers. Take zero away. Yes. How many do I have? Nine. Nine. Hold up two fingers. Take one away. How many do I have? One. One. That's much better. And then what do I have here? Zero. Zero. Okay. Because these are all zeros, aren't they? Yeah. And what? then what do we have to do? We have to remember to bring down, bring down the decimal. And then we have a zero in front, right? Yes. So we have 19 thousandths left, right? Does that make sense? Yes. I hope so. Let's give you another problem. This time I'm just going to write it out as a, um, as a decimal, okay? All right. So let's say we have um, 2.4 minus 1.8. What's the important thing we have to remember to do? Everybody, go like this and say it. Line, Line up the decimals. Right. So, the one goes under the... The one goes under the two. Here's where I line up my decimal. And then the eight goes under the four, right? Yep. What mathematical process are we doing? Subtraction. Subtraction. <clears throat> okay, hold up four fingers. Can you take eight away from those? No. 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 So what do we have to do? We have to borrow. We have to borrow. Take one away from the two, and that gives us 14, right? So that would be... Six. Six is correct. Now what do I do that's really important right now? Bring, Bring down the decimal. Place. Right. That's the most, probably the most important thing is lining up the decimals and bringing it down. That's as tricky as it gets. If I have one finger and I take one away, I end up with? Zero. zero. So our answer is 0 0.6, right? Yep. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. That is it for today. I, I love math.